Hello all, I am Scott Grove. Today I am going to teach you um, something that most people probably can't teach. Um, this is um, basically how to uh, do what everybody's been begging for me to do, and that's how to teach you to play with some soul here, some feeling, and how to actually tie everything together. Okay, you're like, okay, I have the pentatonic scale, I have the blues scale, I have the minor pentatonic scale, blah, 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 blah. Um, but, yeah, I can play scales, and I can play, you know, certain little Mary Had a Little Lamb saying things, but how do I put it all together to make a complete sentence? You've taught me words um, with all your free lessons or your paid lessons, or I've watched tons of these on YouTube. Um, just to remind you again, if you look right below um, this video, just click where it says, you know, show more or whatever, but it'll take you right to my website where you can have you know, like a hundred hours for the free lessons. Go there and learn as much as you can and then apply everything that you've learned there to this lesson here, okay? And then learn off everybody else too, off of YouTube or anywhere. But don't pay for lessons. There's no reason to unless you're buying them from me, okay? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing, is taking all those lessons and whether, it don't matter what kind of music it is, um, today I'm going to concentrate basically on blues because uh, guitar players just tend to flock around blues. Um, I know people will go to country or they'll go to metal or anything in between, which is fine. Um, you have uh, the dynamic duo that nobody can mention one without the other, and that's you know Steve Vai and Joe Satriani. Okay, fine. Um, can you play like them? Sure, anybody can um, if you desire to. But you have to learn to walk before you can run like that. And again, remember those folks uh, when you go to see them, their audience is going to be 95% other guitar players. That's it. Um, nobody else is going to buy their albums other than other guitar players. It's not a slam at all. They all you know, totally deserve um, every bit of recognition they have. They're just phenomenal players. But then again, they are players, players. You're not going to hear them on the radio. You're not going to hear unless they're playing with a cover band. You know, but that's just the way it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is teach you, like I said, how to walk. I'm going to teach you how to put all these phrases together to make sentences. And by a very unorthodox thing, which has been orthodox forever. Make any sense? Uh, it will in a second. Um, what this comes down to as a method is long uh, been forgotten somehow, but yet it is probably going to make more sense to most of you than anything. And that is called scatting. Okay? Uh, there was a. Um, guy by the name of, God, there's so many, George Benson is who I'm going to primarily refer to today. Um, he made a living, and still, um, so many people still play this kind of guitar. But this is the basis of all solos that have any melodic anything to them, is scatting. And that is how you honestly can go from crawling to walking to running to you know hitting the Olympics with your guitar playing and I'm going to teach you all of this today like I said this is assuming you already know the major pentatonic scale you know your just your typical scales they don't matter just your you know or just some your do do re mi stuff your basic blues scale Okay, so that basic stuff, you can get it again off of anybody's videos, and mine are for free, and again, just click on the link below and you can have all of them you want for free. Now this, like I said, we'll put it all together for you. What is scatting? Okay, that is simply, if you, and I can't show this on here because of copyright um, problems, but if you've ever seen the goofy mu uh, movie School of Rock with Jack Black, who I've been accused of looking like, I don't know if it's the face or the gut or just because I'm a nut or what, but all during the entire uh, show, very rarely does he actually ever play a guitar or pretend to play a guitar. Of course, we all know that um, he knows how to play. Um, but here is scatting, one, like he would do. Two, one, like Tenacious D, he plays with that. So you got a backing track. In the movie School of Rock, you'd be Like that. 
People are like, well, how do you just get your solos to sound so cool and they have meaning, they have soul, they, uh, boy, that just came out of a Saturday night, no, that came out of the movie Grease, Grease, uh, Grease, it's got groove, it's got meaning, if you guys don't know the song, you probably think I'm a nut, but you know I am already, but anyway, George Benson, I know I'm jumping all around here, that's just what I do, my brain's gone, but George Benson, uh, just king of the adult, contemporary, almost jazzy, blues sound of stuff. That's all he did for a lot of his solos and that's what he was known for. Kind of like Frampton was known for the talk box. Van Halen was known for this. You know, everybody has their thing. George Benson was known for this. Check him out, just YouTube him. And it will come out to stuff like this. Um, like the... Okay, that line. And he would actually sing the lines. That's called scatting when you're not doing it with it, just like I was doing just a second ago. Okay, so if you can sing in key, you know. And actually learn to play what you're singing. Okay, that's the key. And if you don't like this so far, get out now because that's what the rest of this is about. And again, um, with George Benson, he would. Okay, so. You don't have to do that, but doing that in your room, playing along with backing tracks like I was just doing a minute ago, that is one way, just one way, of getting a lot of you to understand all of this. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to do this. And these are actually just making up phrases. Um, I'm going to put this down on the guitar where you guys can actually see what's going on. Um, and as I always like to do, uh, today's guitar is the 1979 Kramer uh, DMZ, stands for DiMarzio, DMZ 3000. These actually had the aluminum necks. These, the wood right here is actually just set in, but the rest of the necks are aluminum, so they would put like just little wood pieces. So it's not a wood neck with aluminum in it, it's an aluminum neck with slight pieces of just wood for decoration in it. But this thing is heavy, heavy flippin' duty. Okay, so the Kramer DMZ 3000, 1979. Okay, so you're just going to be hearing my voice from here on out. And I'm going in the key of G throughout the entire video. Okay, so you're in G. Okay. Now, the person, the just a human male's vocal range is just typically from that low G up to this G. That's about as high as most males can generally sing who have no skills as far as being a singer goes. Okay. If you know, you know, you're a metal singer and you're already great at it, you can hit these way up here. You know, and do all the high stuff. But as far as a general rule, anybody that have, can sing in the shower or even to the radio but does not have much of a range at all can sing from here to here. Of course, some people can go, do, 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 you know, on the lower, but generally here's where you're at. Do, 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 Okay, let's start building some stuff here. Let's start putting some words together and then we'll build a sentence, okay? So in the key of G, just doing the... Let's just do that one. Now, just sing it while playing this. Okay, 
do, 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 do. That's just the fifth fret on the G bent up. Okay, back to where it was. Now back to the third fret. Now fifth fret on the D. Do, 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 do. Now let's play it. Do, do, do. And sing it. Do, do, do. Okay, now you can actually start to mess with this. And what you start to hear in your head here in a little bit, you will be able to play without having to sing along to it. But we're going to develop, over the course of this lesson, like I said, a bunch of phrases, and then we're going to make whole sentences, and then paragraphs, and all of a sudden a paragraph is your solo. Okay, but you actually will now be able to play what you hear in your head. Okay, so it's what you hear that you want to be able to play. So I'm going to teach you to do that via scatting. Okay? So it's just a whole different way of teaching you to do it, but this works, and it works better and quicker than any other method probably on the face of the planet. Okay? So don't talk, don't cash in your chips yet. Okay, so our phrase number one, again, do, 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 and do that as many times as you have to, and just sit there and play that rhythm. And then go You can do or or be a bop or whatever you want to say out loud. Okay? But do it out loud. Um, it teaches you to sing too. It really does. Now you can actually take that and start to um, just mess around with the improvise. Okay, so you're doing the same thing. You're just rephrasing the phrase. So however you hear it happening in your head, you could be going just like Jack Black again. Okay, so you can actually play what you hear. And that's what it's all about. You want to be able to play what you're hearing in your head. You don't have to sing it out loud, but for now, that's how you learn to do it. Okay? Then you quit singing. And you just play what's going on in your head. And this is how you do it. Okay? So, um, same notes. Do, 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 do. That's just going from the third fret on the D to the fifth fret. Okay, you saw that one. Three, I'm going to say the fret number. Three, five, five, G string three with the bend towards the floor. Back to the fifth fret on the D. Then you just go and bend it again. Third fret on the G towards the floor just a little bit. You know, you just hear that stuff in your head. You can just add in that kind of thing. So, Little phrases like that. Just work on mimicking these phrases with your voice. Because once you actually physically do this out loud, I don't matter if anybody's looking or not, nobody's going to think less or more of you. Like I said, you're just going to become a better player and a better singer, so you might as well let people hear it. Don't be shy about this. You didn't become um, a musician, or you're not wanting to become a musician to be not heard. Okay, so just be heard, be loud, be proud, turn this stuff up, and let's let's make this thing happen. Okay, so um, we have do 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 do. We have do do do. Okay, do 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 do. And you could go do 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 do. Okay, so 
so far we've only been playing four notes. <laughs> Play that too, it don't matter. But learn to play what you are singing. Okay, what you're hearing in your head. And then you will get to learn what each note actually sounds like. And when you're hearing it in your head, even if you can't sing it quite in key, at least you know what it sounds like and you will be able to just visualize it by the way it sounds instead of what actually makes sense according to dots and all that stuff down here okay so okay so it gets really hard and people will relate to this kind of stuff in the audience okay this is very very important right here if you don't listen to any of the rest of this video listen to this People in the audience will get a lot more out of you playing. A lot more out of that any day of the week than they will. Than they will out of that junk. Okay? Sure, that comes later and you can do that whenever you want. But um, that is so above the general listener's head that they have no idea what's going on. Okay? They just have no idea. It's just like trying to talk to a 12-year-old girl about how to put an engine together. They just don't get it. And they probably never will. You know, it's just they don't understand it. They would rather hear... Why? Because... They can hum along to that. The general public will <laughs> relate to that. You know, just like Slash, if you have to go there. He was kidding. He w I know that the, you guys that already know this know this, but when he went in and it was all about... <laughs> that was a joke. He wanted to do something that sounded like a carnival on that song just to make fun of itself. Okay, that's, all, that's how that came around. Uh, when he came in to go record that solo, you know, he tried a few things, tried a few more things, and it just wasn't working. So he did that little thing just to try to laugh at himself and laugh at the song and laugh at what the engineer wanted. And ended up becoming that doo dee 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 You know, people can hum that. And now people can relate to what he thought was the biggest joke ever, and now it's the biggest riff of his life. It's the same thing with Billy Ray Cyrus doing Achy Breaky Heart, or... Toby Keith doing Red Solo Cup, he hates that song with every soul, every ounce of his body. But he has to do it now forever because it's going to be his number one song forever. So, like I said, Billy Ray Cyrus with his uh, achy breaky. He didn't never like that song either, but without that, um, he would be absolutely nobody. He still basically is, but he would never have been allowed to have another hit after that. So, same thing with Slash. If it wasn't for that, he probably would have never become, you know, became anybody, to tell you the truth. So, it's the, that's the end of that little lesson. But it is the stuff that people can hum along to or sing. Or. You know, that kind of thing that people in your audience will relate to much more than the shredding type stuff. That's all fun, that's all good, it comes in time, but for now, we have to do this. And again, I know I keep repeating myself, but um, that's because this is so important of a lesson that you just learn to scat. Okay, for those who can't get it any other way, okay, who keep getting my lessons and everybody else's lessons and paying more and more for the same lessons, just reworded, okay, people are like, I've got all your lessons, but how do I play? It's like, if you can't play by now and you have all my lessons and everybody else's, you need some real help because it's already all there. Except for this way of explaining it. Okay, so all the, all the notes that you can play in the world, which there are only 12, um, it's just a matter of what order you put them in. So now you get to sing them along in your head and you have to be able to play what you hear in your head. So you have to hear something in your head. Okay? And 
That's what it is. You guys aren't hearing anything in there. Okay, it's just a big echo chamber, you know. It's just <laughs> there's nothing going on in there except for I gotta play guitar. What do I do? Where, where do what doctor do I go to? Um, yeah, of course it matters what doc you go to, but you have to have a 100% concrete idea in your head of what the solo is going to sound like at the moment that the solo is happening. So it's time for you to play and you have to improvise a solo just right off the top of your head. Just whatever you hear in your head has to come out of your fingertips instantaneously. Okay, and that's where the best solos come from. Not something that you've made, um, sit there and struggled over for half an hour, an hour, a week, two months, five years to get exactly right. No, that's not the best stuff. The best stuff that you will ever have is something that you make up on the spot. Uh, you just never know what you can drag out of yourself until you try. And you cannot be inspired by anything other than what is going on in your life and what and that is all in your head so you have to take those things that are in your head and transform to transfer them to your guitar that's it you just have to speak through your guitar i know it sounds so cliche but that's what you're doing you're speaking do, 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 do. i don't know what the hell i'm playing i don't know what the hell i'm gonna play whatever you got to think of in your head um here is a G, I don't know what I'm going to play after the G. <laughs> you know, whatever you got to do, but you hear those melodies in your head. And now if you sit here and scat along with them, you will get this, okay? I know I've been rambling, but that's fine. Um, that's what your fast forward button's for, but you will miss the point of it. Okay, so let's continue from here. You're like, thank God, I know, but you have to listen to the reasoning behind this or basically you will never learn to play. You'll have a bunch of scales and nothing else and you will quit. That's what, um, eighty percent of people that try to play an instrument quit because they just can't figure out this part of it. So if you skip this part then you deserve to not learn how to play. Okay? Uh, basically that simple. So yes, I wish you failure if you turn this video off because um, you need some you need some discipline, Daniel son. And if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about you need to go back and watch some older movies Okay, <laughs> alright, let's get some more phrases here, and again, just more scatting. We're going up into our falsetto, which means you got to sing like a chick. Okay, that's right, all the way up like Little Richard. I know, I mention all the old people because I'm old. Okay, so up to the high G, here, third fret on the high E string. Okay, now we're coming down to the F, which is here on the sixth fret of the B string. So G, okay, you're just going to the D note, B string, third fret, so after here we can probably get back into our regular voice, back to there again, so then our original leg. Recognize that yet? You better. Okay, you can put all the effects you want on later. And backward. Okay, so you have to hear that in your head and just go. so it makes total sense. You have to do this just as much as you practice anything else in order for it to be effective. Okay, um, another little quick one, just like uh, another one, just like the other one. Okay, we'll go backward. The okay, so from three to six on the B up to three on the E. did there. Okay, same thing. Three, six, and three. 
Now we're going to six, up to eight on the B string. So you're getting that G again. Backward from eight, six, down to three. Okay, these are just common phrases, but you have to nail these things in your head, just like anything else. Practice makes perfect, I know. But you've heard these forever. Same thing from the beginning. But you keep putting these little short segments together and then you will be able to play anything you hear in your head. You put enough of these together and then just start stringing these together. Uh, just string them together in your head and they will come out of your fingers. Okay? And again, the best thing to do is sit around with this backing track, any backing track, um, preferably in the key of G for now. And I will play this and let it ring for you later so you can go ahead and just do play along with it so I just give you a blank backing track for you to jam with so you do have this same one okay so to kind of show you where we're at I'm going to keep my guitar clean like it is and just play this backing track and show you no more with scatting and playing the notes than what I have showed you so far <laughs> Okay, so you see how that works. And as easy and kindergarten as this sounds, um, this is the way we play guitar, play guitar, play guitar. Okay, so um, with that much in your head, let's finish doing this little scale, which is... <laughs> just one octave of it okay watch very closely and I'm gonna name the frets and the strings E string three one three then B string one E string three back to one on the A then three one three five three five three on the D five back on the A back to three on the D then five three five and yes i'm singing them for a reason okay if you need to go back go back so okay just work on that as much as you can or as much as you will but preferably ten times more than you will, just so you'll do it. I don't care if you say doo doo or dee dee or da da or wing wang or whatever you want to say. You stop there, or we can go up another whole octave, which is what I want you to do because you can reach them all with falsetto 
that's doing the same thing. Start so we ended up here. So start there again. Do do do. Same basic thing. Do do do. That's three on the G, five on the D. Do do do. Then five three five on the G. Do do do. Now a lot of guys will have to go to falsetto here. Do do do. Same thing. Three on this B string, five on the G. Do do do. Now because of the way the guitar is tuned, you have to go to do do do. So six three six. Do 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 do. <laughs> the big note. So your G here. Do. So from the beginning. Okay. I ran out of just air there, let alone anything else. Uh, any excuse I can. Okay, and same with you. Again. Now, the more you can practice that one, the better you are. Okay? So do as much as you can practicing that scale. <laughs> and get it faster and faster and faster because you're not always going to be playing blues or really slow songs. So you get a practice going. Okay, so you got a lot to do here, but that's playing nothing more than what I just showed you. What's that? Again, Jack Black, School of Rock. He did tons of that. So you see where it's going? Okay, it's already there. <laughs> okay, so again, uh, anybody go online and just hit YouTube. I know you're already there because that's the only place you can find this. Except for on my lesson site. Um, and go back and watch some of those scenes of Jack Black doing simply that. He's holding a guitar that's not plugged in, that little SG all the time, and 90% uh, of the movie he doesn't ever actually play. He just goes... Okay, so it is all the anticipated things that... That's the kind of stuff that is cool. That's, that's gut-wrenching. That's reaching down on your soul and finding something that is not just in perfect time. You're playing against the rhythm. You know, that's a boom, 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 but your stuff is... Everything is out of time, but you've heard these a million times. Ace Fraley. <laughs> You know, yeah, I'm saying a dick, a dick, a dick. Okay, so you have to not be afraid to sit here and act like a total moron like I am and sing a dick, a dick, a dick, a dick, a dick. You know, it's just music, dudes, but you got to trust me, especially for those of you who, like I said, have all these scales, all these other things, and still cannot put a sentence together. You have every word in the dictionary in front of you already, and you still can't play a solo. Why? Because you, for some reason, aren't making that connection. So this is just one more way for me to try to come to you and use another method of teaching you how to play a solo that you can make up. Okay, you don't, you're never going to make a dime other than a couple of dimes a week if you're playing at the Holiday Inn, you know, or whatever. Um, so, you know, the big money's in your own music, um, not the music you play behind somebody else, you know. So, 
um, so play your own solos um, but you have to write them first and you already have like I said all of the notes in the world I mean they're finite the numbers don't end I mean I guess they do end but in a musical scale they end at 12 and that's it and in a regular or in a musical total number of notes you can play are 12 and then they're just in different octaves but you have 12 to choose from and in most scales you have eight notes to choose from and that's it so out of eight notes you ought to be able to string something together out of eight possibilities okay over top of any given chord you have eight eight okay let's say eight to twelve because people like to play that where they play every single note down so okay you can have twelve but what is twelve notes in this scale no pun intended in the scale of the whole you know universe to be able to play it's like it's nothing it's so simple but you have to tie this together somehow so again the scatting is just one of a million ways I'm going to try to, to teach you how to do this I was just doing some um, uh, George Benson stuff earlier and I just thought man this is just a great way to teach people because I uh, showed my wife you know I just said um, you know the guy made a living out of just playing stuff <laughs> He would just play like that, you know, just his little thumb, and, and he'd play. And the guy, that was his thing again, just like Eddie and his thing, and everybody else and their thing. So we're learning about... George Benson's thing, if we must tell it the way it is. Okay, so it's your thing. Do what you want to do, and that's what you got to do. This is your thing. Do what you want to do with it, and with this knowledge. Okay, and do this in, um, of course, in this particular pattern that uh, we're going over here. This 12 bar blues is what it's called. It's just, you know, those three chords G, C, and D. You can play in any kind of song like this, in a blues song, you can play if it's just got that same old, uh, don't matter. Any of that kind of stuff that has those three chords, the one, four, and the five chords, uh, if you don't know what those are, don't know what those are yet, um, again, check out my free lessons. It's basic, basic, basic theory stuff. Um, you do not have to ever leave the key of G when you are soloing. Just because the song changes to C, you know, the whole band, if you're doing arpeggios and all that kind of stuff, sure, you would naturally change to the C and you would change to the D. But when you're doing blues and you're doing rock and roll or just rock, you generally stay right there in G. Point being, I'm just going to stay right in the G. Just right from our and nothing else, okay? Check this out. That's just in G. have to leave you do not have to go chord chasing and follow the C and follow the D in songs like this and all these three chord songs you can stay in G you never have to move you just have the whole guitar to play in G okay so <laughs> Okay, so you can go all the way up the entire guitar. Okay, so you just keep on going. And, but, 
you never hardly run out of guitar. By the time that solo is over, you can cover the whole guitar forward and backward, or you can just be super cool and be like B.B. King. B.B. King might use two notes in a solo, but it's just a matter of how he lays them out there. Sometimes that can go a lot farther than any of that kind of junk can go. Okay, that's why BB is the king of, you know, the one or two note solos. <laughs> it's not that he's not great. It's because he can put feeling into that thing. You know, the guy's lived a good life and he's lived a horrible life. And, but that comes out through his solos. And it's not because they're all full of tons of notes. It's because each note means something to him. Okay, each thing that comes out of his fingers means something to him in his head. Um, he's just sitting there just thinking in his head. He's not thinking guitar. He's thinking pain or happiness or uh, I got divorced, I did this, I got lucky that night, I had a kid, but I never saw her, I never paid child support, I never did whatever. Got my house repoed, but then I got rich and then I bought ten houses, whatever his feelings are, um, you get to a point where you're playing all this stuff and no longer do you have to think do, 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 do. you don't have to think that anymore. It will become a language to you. That's why you are doing this vocally with me. I'm making it a language. Um, and then you will never have to, unless you just want to come up to the mic and then it's a cool trick. Do, 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 do. People think that's cool when you actually do that, you know, once or twice a night, you know, in a microphone, and and then walk away and then finish your solo, but if you whip that out, pardon the expression, every now and then, it is very cool to do that. Then you go up playing. Okay, so I'm just sitting there milking the heck out of one note. But playing that one note over and over and over again, if that's what you're feeling, and you put some actual emotion into it, um, not emotion so it looks like you know you're trying to take a dump. You know, when you get that face, you know, sometimes that face looks cool. Sometimes that may trick people into thinking you have an emotion when you have having a BM on stage. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm colorful like that. Um, but people will tell, they can tell when you're faking it and when you actually put something into it. Um, <laughs> again, another bad misplaced pun there. But um, most guys can't tell when a girl's faking it, but most girls can tell when a guy's faking it as far as dealing out real emotions, and that's in music too, okay? So whether it's in your guitar player and playing or your love making or whatever, people can tell when you're faking sincerity, generally, okay? Uh, guys are pretty good liars, but um, they usually get caught. So don't get caught in a lie on your guitar, as stupid as that sounds. Um, yeah, I know people will laugh at, for, at me for that, but people have laughed at me for years, and that's fine. Um, I'm just, just honestly trying to teach you how to play here, and if it means getting laughed at, so be it, by going doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, but there's a method to this, and if it helps two people out there play better, you know, I'll get laughed at all day long if I can help you get play better. So, um, if you have to make up words to things, whatever it takes to make you understand this whole scatting thing, 
Say if you have to say words instead of going if you have to say words, whatever. I need my old lady. Um, but it comes really easy if you are thinking this stuff at first in your head and you follow a um, actual vocal line. Um, you'll hear uh, same song. Um, let me see if I can take the whole vocal down a bit here and just kind of show you what I'm talking about. Okay, there's an old song called Stormy Monday. Now, of course, this is really fast for it, but I'm just going to use those words because blue songs like this don't have very many words. But you got this really fast. Oh, yeah, they call it Stormy Monday, but Tuesday's just as bad. that same thing. You know they call us Stormy Monday, but the two days is bad. Oh yes, they call it Stormy Monday, but the two days is too bad. Then you be quiet. thing you just play the words maybe the, I could have said that 48 minutes ago and it would have been over with okay so you can play the words yes they call it stormy Monday but Tuesday is just as bad same thing yes they call it stormy Monday but Tuesday is just as bad echoes in. Yes, they call a stormy Monday. Okay, you just whatever is in your heart, in your brain, in your soul, in your, in the words to the song. Okay, so that is basically the lesson. Okay, it's not that difficult. And do this in all the keys, okay? I'm going to, I don't know why I always put this back on my face, but um, do it in all the keys. Like I said, I'm going to let this whole track just kind of play through so you can mess with this. But you can download all these kind of tracks. Um, if you need some, just let me know and I'll send you 30 or 40 of them. And every key, every thing that you can imagine, uh, just write me and say, hey, send me some tracks and I'll do my very best to send those to you, but you have to give me your email address where you actually like have an email address that works. You know, so many people screw that up. Um, but again, it's just called scatting. Look it up. There's Scatman Crothers. Um, that's just, it's just old blue stuff, man. And again, go back and watch Jack Black again in School of Rock. Watch him a million times through there. And there is, um, the boy knows how to play, but he plays what he's doing right there. I mean, it's, it's exactly this lesson. It's nothing different than what Jack Black is doing. And again, look up um, George Benson. You know, you got On Broadway, which some of you may not know, but you heard me just say On Broadway, or whatever. Look up George Benson and just put SCAT, S-C-A-T, and YouTube it. You know, don't Google it, YouTube it. And see, watch him play. And listen how he does his solos, exactly like I'm talking about. 
try to mimic them, try to do this whole thing, but this will get you to the point to where you quit singing the stuff in your head and you actually play the stuff in your head. But the singing part, that'll actually make you a better singer, number one, because you will actually be able to play and you'll actually sing all th those notes on key. So it don't matter. And so I can hit all those notes just randomly in any time because I learned to play this way because I taught myself to play this way. I didn't have somebody teach me to play like this. I just did this because out of necessity I needed more help than what I was given back when. So I had to teach myself how to do this, how you teach yourself a lot of things when nobody's looking. But <laughs> this just keeps getting worse and worse, don't it? But um, just do that. And, and every key, and you already see what it's about, but if it helps you at all, great. If it doesn't, you know, hey, you just lost an hour out of your life. But um, this will creep into even the uh, best player's head at some point and you will try this. Okay, so I know this is not for nothing. So once again, Scott Grove, I know you care who less I am and that's fine, that's cool, as long as you know how to play better after this is over and after you have worked on it. That matters more than anything. So I'm just going to turn on that track. Um, thank you guys for checking out the lesson. I'll put a little more volume behind it while my little wife's trying to sleep and um, be putting stuff away during the lesson. So here's the uh, backing track again in the key of G and just enjoy it play well and happy scatting okay take care and I'll see you somewhere I guess okay um, here we go one two, those one two three four
Hasta la pasta, ya mama.